Hi everyone, this week's recipe is a shortcut for making Vietnamese cured pork. For those familiar with this dish, it's typically made using raw pork fermented with seasonings. If you enjoy this dish but worry about eating raw meat, you'll love this recipe twist. It uses cooked ham, and around this time of the year, we may have some remaining from a holiday meal, so it's a great use of leftovers. Let's do a quick rundown of the ingredients. We need cooked ham, water, white vinegar, sugar, cooked and sliced pork skin, garlic cloves, and black peppercorns. The remaining ingredients, the Vietnamese coriander, red chilies, and garlic slices are for garnish. In a large bowl, let's combine the vinegar, water, and sugar. Stir everything together until the sugar is completely dissolved. Now for the cooked ham, all we need to do is cut it into smaller pieces. After the ham is all cut up, put it into the solution we made earlier. Give everything a quick dunk and make sure the ham is immersed in the liquid. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap and then put it into the refrigerator. So that the ham can absorb the tangy marinade, we let it soak for at least 8 hours, but up to 24 hours if we like it really tangy. Transfer the ham to a colander and let it drain for 15 minutes. While the ham is draining, let's prepare the peppercorns. Put them into a resealable plastic bag and then lightly smash them. Bring a large pot of water to a rapid boil and then add salt. Add the pork skin and swirl it in the boiling water for 15 seconds. Quickly drain the pork skin and then rinse it with cool water several times. Now let's use the salad spinner to shake off the remaining water. If we don't have a salad spinner, we can simply stir and toss it in the colander a few times to remove the excess water. Put the pork skin into a food processor and we give it six quick pulses. Transfer into a large wok and then spread out the pork skin so it doesn't clump together. Repeat the same process for the ham and pulse for 45 seconds to one minute. Divide the ham into two or three batches when processing so we don't overwork our food processor. Over low heat, combine the ham with the pork skin. If the pork skin has clumped together, spend some time to break up the chunks. Cook for three to four minutes, stirring constantly. The mixture should be moist and if it looks dry, add about two tablespoons of water. Let's be sure the heat isn't too hot and we don't cook for too long as this will shrivel the ham and the pork skin. Add the peppercorns and give everything another quick toss. Put one cup of the mixture into an eight by eight dish and then spread it out evenly. Repeat these steps using a total of four cups of the mixture. Press the pork firmly into the pan, filling in the gaps. Now with a spatula, we run it across the top, pressing down really firmly. Let's spend a few minutes on this step to make sure everything is nice and compressed. This will ensure the pork sets into one solid piece. Cover the dish with plastic wrap, pop it into the refrigerator, and we chill for at least four hours. With the remainder of the pork, we're gonna have some fun and make these pretty rolls. Place three quarters cup of the mixture onto a piece of plastic wrap and then shape it into a log. Next, roll it in the plastic wrap, applying firm pressure. Now holding the ends, we give it a couple quick spins to tighten everything up and then we roll it across our work surface to smooth it out. On another sheet of plastic wrap, place down some Vietnamese coriander, some sliced red chilies and garlic. Place the log on top of the herbs, Garnish the top with more coriander leaves, red chilies, and garlic. Again, firmly roll everything up and tighten up the roll by spinning it around. We should be able to make four rolls with the remaining pork. Into the fridge they go and they chill for four hours. To serve, simply run a sharp knife around the dish and then cut into one inch squares. Garnish each piece of the cured pork with a coriander leaf, a slice of red chili, and a slice of garlic. For the rolls, we cut into thin slices and then serve. The cured pork is an awesome appetizer and makes a great snack to go with that cold beverage. It's also a tasty addition to rice noodle bowls, savory steamed rice cake dishes, and salads. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.